three jewel thieves um, for some reason that it doesn't work with all bulbs what I've done here is taken a 104 ceramic capacitor run it across the positive and negative this is a standard NPN jewel thief setup and use these switching diodes that I've pulled out of a, some scrap uh, I don't know if it's a computer or what uh, PC uh, I mean a uh, yeah big board um, you take the positive coming out of the capacitor and run it with these one of these switching diodes over to one of these places in the breadboard then you take another one and bring it off the back where the uh, resistor goes in and you bring it over and put it in the same place and then you put the positive lead of your flasher there put the negative in where it normally goes and I got it to work but these little diodes that I pulled out of a um, some, kind of, some, some kind of circuit board I don't know and it's working and the way I got it to work was that second diode coming from the back of the coil where the resistor ties in and, and bringing it over and, and putting the two together in the same place and putting the positive of the uh, LED in there this has got a 104 cap this has got a 104 ceramic cap this one's got a 104 ceramic cap right there um, sorry for the pitifulness of this camera uh, but today has been a wonderful day as far as <clears throat> I've been trying to figure all this stuff out I've YouTubed it for years um, how to stabilize the current so you can read it this will actually stabilize the current to where you can read it I'm getting anywhere from 9 to 15 volts on some of these uh, you can actually read it uh, take the bulb out put some pins in there and put your uh, voltmeter on it it will give you a stable reading it will give you some voltage drop uh, and if you try to test it with the LED in there it will jump all over the place take your LED out and you will find that it, the current is stabilized uh, with just two diodes in this capacitor these are some sort of glass switching diodes I found them in a garden light circuit that runs a RGB uh, slow change just like these and I was actually able to make this work now for some reason uh, it took a certain set this one uh, determined how fast this one would blink this light would blink so I don't know what the values of any of these are but they're working and that's great I mean it's absolutely great and thanks to Julian uh, Elet with the uh, light resisting diode uh, across the uh, transistor yeah I've got a, like a 10k pot on there and uh, I'm just running, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm running two diodes over of this, but for some some reason, you don't really need two diodes on this one. Uh, but it flashes slower, and I haven't figured it out. Maybe it's got something to do with the, with the pot. Um, 
this one will run the the uh, 10 millimeter just like this one is um, there's probably guys out there that know a whole lot more than I do who can figure this thing out and make it even better and tell tell me what to use but I can hardly see so whatever re, uh, is written, written on these diodes I can hardly read it I see a 48 and a 41 on some of them um, but, the, but this diode made the difference of how fast this one flashed now I don't know if this uh, diode I've tried several to get this one to flash faster I can't do it I don't know if it's because of this potentiometer but you can see that the one on the right will come on when the light goes out and the uh, ones in the center will change colors everything somehow now th this is not working for all of my bulbs I've got two types of bulbs that it will not work on but I've got two types of bulbs that it will work on so if anybody's got any more information to uh, get this anything further along it would be great but I'm using I, I did use two rectifier diodes and it worked for the 10 millimeter flasher um, and the uh, 104 cap but you got to take the, the power away and put the power off of the back of the coil where the resistor is and the positive output of the transistor you got to take those away and put them into a separate spot together to rectify this uh, it, I don't think it's fully rectified or, or everything would work but I am getting some results out of this and if anybody knows more than I do which I'm just an old plumber and a gas pump mechanic um, and I've just had this major breakthrough today, today that um, is fantastic all three of these are working I wish the one on the right was flashing like the one on the left the middle ones are changing colors and I can actually get a true reading of what these are doing with a voltmeter uh, instead of uh, an oscillating circuit you can actually get a true reading of how many volts um, I'm sure it's not many amps but there's actually a lot of volts coming out of these things And it's funny when the ones are whining, uh, you can hear them with the different color changes in the uh, LED. But this is what I did today. I rectified this. and I don't know what the hell I'm doing so if anybody does know what the hell they're doing if you want to add into this and and uh, like I said I used a bunch of glass switching diodes as far as I know is what they are the uh, rectifier diodes worked on on the the big flashers but it didn't work on the uh, slow ones so I'm having mixed results because I don't know what I'm using out of this bunch right here. I just pulled it all out of the circuit board. Okay, I wanted everybody to know what I, sh I wanted to share with everybody what I, my findings were. Um, this is really cool. And I've been working on trying to figure out how, how to do this for about two years now. So... Um, Today's a major breakthrough. All J.
dual thief circuits diodes placed correctly correct diodes it's working it is working 